You want to see what it takes to become a successful music producer like me? <laughs> Watch and learn. I'm always trying to get one step ahead of the competition, which means I got to get a head start on the day. Gotta start off the day with a nice cup of coffee. I'm a cold brew man myself. Here's a little slow-mo cream shot for ya. I have to give a big thank you to Intel for sponsoring this video. They sent me this laptop designed on the Intel Evil platform. This laptop is super lightweight, super compact, but also really powerful. This thing gives me nine hours of battery life, which is great if I'm moving around a lot. I'm not really a morning person, so what I like to do in the mornings is what I call light work. And these are kind of just simple tasks that don't take too much brain power. So I'll just turn on the TV and just do these small things like sending out samples or emailing people. I just dropped a YouTube video, so I'm answering comments for that. Maybe a little Sudoku here or there. Look at the speed. I don't think I ever talked about this, but it's vital that anytime you make a beat or a sample, you put it immediately in the cloud. I like to use Dropbox, but Google Drive, any kind of online storage works for that, just so that you're never tied down to your studio. Here's pretty much all the melodies I've made over the last year, and I can send these out when I'm at the studio, or I'm at home, or I'm on my phone, or I'm on the bus. It's really important that you have immediate access to the stuff you're sending. But let's say you're at a studio session, someone goes, hey, you got loops? I'll give them this one, I'll give them this one. Oh, he'll snap on this one. Copy that into a folder and send them the link to that folder. If nobody's at home during that time, I like to play the piano and practice my singing. How I do. It's always good to do a bit of singing as a producer, because that will up your vocal mixing if you ever need to engineer at a session. And it's good in case you ever need to make a reference. But you Okay, time to make music. The morning routine goes as follows. Brush my dirty teeth, wash my dirty face, shave my dirty mustache, take a poop. Look for that swaggy outfit. Fix my hair. Time to get to work. Jaywalkers. <laughs> Time to make some music! Yeah. I do go to studio sessions, but that's pretty rare, maybe once or twice a month. Usually I'm in here. Bam! Bam! Oh, baby. This is kind of like a weird time because we're really close to the holidays. All my big projects for the year are pretty much finished. This is kind of like what I do when I have nothing to do. This is when I really want to improve in my craft. Whether I'm learning how to make a new genre or learning some new theory thing or just trying to get better at guitar, you really don't want to take this downtime for granted. I've been making a lot of samples lately, so I think it'd be fun if we just made some beats. Crazy. For a lot of my other laptops, I usually have to plug in the power source just because the beat's playing and I have the plugins and then I'm also recording the screen so it just gets really heavy. But for this one, I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just chilling. This is really useful in a studio session, especially if like somebody's hogging the desk and you kind of just want to chill. Oh my gosh, it's heavy.
Wait, no, that's hard. That's hard too. Once I make enough music for the day, it's time to hit the gym. Today's ab day, some chest presses, pec flies, tricep pushes, really want to target that core. As someone who's constantly moving throughout the day, I gotta fuel myself with the right nutrients. Hi, can I get one 10 piece McNugget please? After I go to the gym, I go home, I eat dinner, I take a shower, and then I'm kind of back to work. I plugged in the laptop while I was showering and it gave me like four hours and 30 minutes, which is crazy. So the work I do at night is non-music related work. Things like editing videos, working on my website, making thumbnails for the videos. This is embarrassing. Classic shock face. Smile, smile and point. The thumbnails are pretty basic. Just cut up my face, put FL Studio in the background, some fire emojis, call it a day. It's trying to work. For the video editing, I do actually have editors, but what I do is I cut up all the raw footage and then once it's shortened, I send it to them so they can put the effects and the memes and stuff. Can you just like turn it down a bit though? I'm trying to work here. Was that the Nimbus 2000? That was the Nimbus 2000. Ah, yeah. Then I'm relaxing, probably watching TV or playing video games a bit, and then I'm off to bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more day in the life videos like this. Maybe on a more interesting day, like a studio session. Let me know. Now, I have to give a big thank you to Intel for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about them, it's going to be the first thing in the description. And that's about it for now. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.